Hi, it's Andy. Uh, I have another tutorial for you today, and this is going to be on the Parse Login UI. Um, now, unfortunately, they didn't bundle this in with the Parse SDK. I don't know why. Um, on the iOS version of this, it is bundled with the SDK. Um, but it, it after you get to importing it with Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want, um, once you have all that imported, you know, it's, it's very simple to use, but you could spend hours trying to import it into uh, Android Studio. So I'm going to show you real quick how to import both Facebook and Parse login UI, what you have to remove, what you have to keep, um, and then how to use the, the, the library. So to import a module into Android Studio, just go to File, Import Module. Then you navigate to where you have this module. So I had them in the downloads. So here's the um, Parse UI Android Master. So uh, in here, don't import the entire folder. Just import the Parse Login UI. If you import the entire folder, you're actually importing all of their sample uh, code as well. So just uh, import the parse login UI. Um, and then for Facebook, you would uh, do a similar thing where you only uh, you only import the Facebook folder because uh, in here you have all the samples as well that um, you don't really need. So just the Facebook and then and uh, parse UI. So once you ha have all of that, uh, imported um, so you have that here and here and now if unfortunately it looks like you do need to have the F Facebook SDK for the parse login UI to work um, my guess is um, it you need the SDK there specifically for the Facebook login button and um, some of the other uh, parse Facebook uh, utils, login utils, and stuff like that. Um, that allows a user to log in through Facebook and uh, create a parse user at the same time with the Facebook login. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's uh, my Simpsons app. Um, okay, so once we have these two imported, you're going to have in here uh, bolts that you're going to have to register as a, a library. So you right click, scroll down, um, add as library. And then you're going to have to remove the um, support library that Facebook includes as well, as it's it won't be necessary for you. Um, next thing in the parse login UI, you have the parse um, uh, SDK here so if you've imported in into your app into the libs get rid of it because you only need one uh, easiest way I found it is to register it as a library into the login and it's available for the entire app so um, I was running into errors earlier today by having the two um, SDKs imported and it was a duplication error so just leave it in the parse login UI and uh, you're good to go. Nice thing is uh, since the updates to uh, Android Studio, uh, the settings Gradle is automatically set up for you when you um, add a module. You don't have to update this anymore because it was a easily overlookable um, thing. So once you have um, those two libraries accessible, now um, you can create an, an actual login, uh, parse login UI. And to see what this looks like, uh, here's one that I have themed blue. Now you can theme it any way you want. You can add bits and pieces of it uh, as you like. Uh, they've actually made it incredibly simple and kind of genius. I have to admit that this was actually very smart. Um, nice thing is that you can add and remove stuff without actually really without any um, Java code and it's really easy to do it in the manifest. So in the manifest we have um, 
and I've I've included a dispatch activity so it checks to see if the log uh, the user is logged in, uh, and if it, they're not, it brings up the login screen, and if they are, it brings up a, just a regular screen with them showing that they're logged in with a button that they can log out. Uh, so this is our activity that we're launching uh, right here and uh, there's nothing to it because we're extending our already given parse dispatch activity. So extends parse dispatch activity and uh, basically it's going to check to see if the user is logged in. Once they're logged in then um, we can launch whatever activity we want and in this case I'm just launching this logged in activity which has um, you know some information with the user's email, their name, um, all that stuff. But this isn't really important because we're actually not going to be seeing this at all today. So just have some other activity that the user can log into um, once they're logged in that you can launch. So okay, so we have those two activities. Everything else is actually done through the the library, uh, sorry, oops, wrong. Is this in? Is all of it is in this uh, library right here? So the next activity we need to um, enable is this com parse UI parse login activity. Um, give the, you know this is all imported from them. I just uh, copied it, and then you can add and remove data as you please through this uh, metadata here. Now I have the Facebook and Twitter login enabled but I don't actually have those uh, SDKs really fully functional so if I were to actually click on them uh, it'll probably crash. Yeah it crashed. So um, but you can enable the buttons simply by adding them in here. The issue that you'll see is that if you don't theme it yourself um, it'll be very hard for you to read. Uh, because it'll be um, a white background with white text on it. So you're going to want to theme it. Fortunately, it's very easy to theme this. Oh, and uh, another thing is you're going to have to add in here. Um, easy overlookable step is to add a metadata to your application. Uh, com parse UI parse login activity dot parse login enabled. And we need to set it to true. So this tells the application to actually uh, load up the parse login to begin with. And then once we've set that to true, then we can log in um, with uh, this activity here, the parse login activity. So we need to theme it because it's not readable unless you theme it. So um, let's go into how to theme it. Okay, so to theme it, uh, create a uh, an XML file with this um, exact name: com underscore parse underscore UI underscore parse underscore login underscore fragment. The system will automatically know that you are overriding the the login activity, uh, the visual view of the login activity, and that you want to theme it. So here it is themed. We've set the background color to blue and then we've included all the stuff that uh, is normally included. So we have the login um, parse logo. We have the form which actually takes up the entire view just about. And then um, then the third party section is, is what has the Twitter and Facebook login buttons. Uh, if we were to remove this, and then relaunch the app, even though we have the Twitter and Facebook login buttons enabled, they won't show up because we have we've overridden what it what to show. So if you just want the simple parse login, um, you can just remove the third party part of it out of the layout, and uh, you know. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. The parse login UI handles all of the all of the bits and pieces for you, and uh, it's pretty easy to implement. So, kudos to Parse to um, implementing a very easy login 
uh, UI like they did for iOS. All right, and that should be it for this tutorial. Have a good day.